We continue to hear from many of you as you too mourn the loss of our good friend and colleague Tim Hedrick. He died Saturday after complications which followed years of battling prostate cancer. It's an important reminder all of us need to find out more about our own health. So medical reporter Liz Bonas stopped by Bethesda North Hospital to share this conversation about prostate cancer. And there is a sub component of prostate cancer, about 7%, which has a strong hereditary component that if, if the patient develops at an early age can be a much more aggressive form of cancer. Dr. Mark Delworth says if there's one thing that we've learned about prostate cancer, it's that while much of it can be treated effectively with surgery or radiation, it is often very different in different people. A lot of prostate cancer is slow growing, but it's just like any other type of, of disease process, there's a vast spectrum. So while a lot of it is slow growing, there's a moderate and then a very aggressive form. We wanted to have this conversation so that even in this moment, we'd have a chance to share what Dr. Dulworth says all young men should know. You need to know your family history. You need to have a conversation with your own health care provider. And he wants you to know there's a simple blood test that you can take to find out more information. And it could make a big difference in beating and treating this disease. Sometimes if we have disease that's not curable, uh, our goal is to have someone live with that disease process and they maybe die of something else. So that means just like with high blood pressure or diabetes, we could manage prostate cancer for years if it was detected early. As for where treatment of this cancer is going? Uh, I think that a lot of cancer, and especially prostate cancer, uh, the forefront is on the molecular level. So we're really looking at genetic testing, we're looking at the molecular and genetic basis of cancer, and we're trying to fight it at that level. Dr. Delworth says that means if this cancer is detected early in men, it could be tested in a lab to find out if it's slow or fast growing. Treatment then could be targeted to it, upping the odds of longer survival. Liz Bonus, Local 12 News. Dr. Delworth says African-American men should also have early screening because they're at higher risk of this disease.